Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to this dirty, dark construction site we call RimWorld. <laughs> the base that will always be under construction. That's what this is. Um, I've asked Handy to build an orbital trade beacon in here as well as uh, had Klaus ring over of steel to, to get a lot of the uh, conduit uh, loaded in this area. We'd, we're working on Klaus's bedroom, but I'm kind of working on the area in general. Got a bunch of them over here to do some work, but that's not our focus today. <laughs> There's so much that needs to be done. There's just not enough of us to do it all. We need to relieve stress over here, and I could do it. Someone, I think Kaya, suggested that we burn the uh, uh, the the clothing left over from deceased enemies but I like the silver that I get from them I'd much rather just make a little more storage space ultimately this whole block right here and now moving across into here is all going to be storage so probably three orbital trade beacons worth of storage in here so long term we're gonna have lots of storage space and then we'll individualize it with these uh, these wooden shelf racks and come up with categories and and it's, it's gonna be good but until then, I think we can go ahead and use this space. What does it take to plug him in? Or is he plugged in? Boom. Oh, he's tapping it up over here. That'll be fine. Eventually, we'll, we'll I guess, bring a leg of power up into here so we can reach. But um, the orbital trade beacon is a big circle just like... Well, I can do it over here. Um, well, kind of hard to see it, but like, like these guys. You know, but it's a bigger version of this. This one over here is hard to see because I've got the mountain cut away to, to match it. So it it looks just like it's part of the, you know, what's left over the mountain. I did, I hope I got that right, but there is a space for one over, you know, right in here. Where is center to that, right? That one? I think it's right there. And so we'll put a big storage in here for whatever's going to be made in this area and, and what have you. But because it's a circle, I'm putting it into a big rectangle. We have voids in the corners. Now, I believe the width does span this whole thing here. In fact, it might even go wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's what it is. I think I've got this one set right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so seven in each direction and then start snipping off the corners. But what I usually do when we snip off the corners right here is I'll still use the space for storage, but it'll be for items that we're not going to sell. So steel over here and, and plasteel and wood and what have you. So a way to get wood, you know, store, uh, supplies or materials into here that we, that we build with and still have them in a generic storage type area that looks right so it works out anyway but anyway this is going to be klaus and sangria's new bedroom and they're not there yet we're, we're still building it they did spend the night up here this is what nine in the morning i've got to pause because they're gonna get in all kinds of trouble if i'm spending the next 10 minutes talking but um so yesterday was the wedding and the reception went into the evening and then I worked them through the night and got them to sleep up and started the day and, and what have you. But Klaus, right after the wedding, I sent him over here to build the uh, the wedding bed. And he really stepped up to the plate on this. I, I was amazed at it. Uh, in fact, what is his construction skill now? It must be really darn good. Construction, 16. He built a masterwork bed with art called... Dark Monkey. I don't know if I even want to know what that's about. <laughs> All right, what's a Dark Monkey? This furniture bears an artwork of Klaus running with a nutty expression. <laughs> a group of goldfish flee the scene of conflict in fear. Almost every shape in the image seems to be triangular. This scene takes place inside a hamlet built near a plain. The portrayal refers to Klaus's caravan ambushed of 8th of September, 5502. So their little trip out there, and they, they were ambushed. Somehow, fleeing goldfish represents what that was all about in there. But anyway, cool. Masterwork, wooden bed. Comfort, through the roof, 1.19. And a beauty of 10. What does that mean? Let's go to, what are you? Your normal bed. Comfort of one. So he boosted the comfort a little bit. I thought it'd be more than that. 
and beauty of one, so 10 times the beauty, and 20% uh, more comfort. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We'll go with that. And to add to, well, not this room, but probably the new room, Michael was working hard at that last sculpture, and somehow he foreknew that there would be an ambush. And while he was building it, he was already describing it in his grand sculpture that he made for their their wedding, in case they you know did get married, called Tune Number Fifty Three, and it says, "This sculpture depicts Klaus running while sweating with exertion. In the distance, a surgeon observes." Maybe that's Thomas Love. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of tiny weasels, and the work is executed in a, no a neoclassical style. This illustration refers to Klaus's caravan ambushed in 8th of September. So what do hundreds of tiny weasels have to do with the ambush? I don't know any more so than Dark Monkey over there. But <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> So we'll move that over when they uh, when they get to get this one completed. Um, what else happened through the night? We, I left last episode talking about power because I really want Handy over here soon to get this guy built, and I want to start moving the food over, and I want to start transitioning into that. They are that is driving me nuts. I've got these set up to be ready for the you know cooking in here, but I've got to set to low. Why are they filling these storage at priority low when there is another place with plenty of room? I'm assuming plenty of... Oh, we're out of room. Okay, well, let's cancel that one. And zone. That zone. We don't need kibble anymore. And you were supposed to be... Drop the animals off right there, I think. Let's, what have I got in there? That was to be meat. Ah, meat only. Okay. Well, let's shrink it a little bit since... Well, hmm. That'll work for now. But what's still sitting out here to bring in? A lot? A lot. Yeah, we need to get this... We need to get this going. We really do. But we need power to get it going. And that's what I was trying to get to. Um, I had this, this epiphany. And then later I had to... You know, head slap myself, or if you ever watch NCIS, I had a, you know, a Gibbs, I had to, had to have a, a Gibbs, Gibbs head slap to, to uh, correct myself here. I was thinking that we could get rid of this guy, grab one of these, flip it around, drop it into the same footprint right there, and get two of them blowing at each other, and then go ahead and put, you know, leave the the uh, solar generator on each side, and we come up with a net positive on power in the same footprint. I got to thinking, no, 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 these are going to block each other. It's not going to work. You can overlap them so long as it's just this part right here that overlaps. You know, the void, the square after it. So another possibility, well, we also talked about uh, last time grabbing the ship's reactor, which is the antimatter reactor. I wish it told you more stuff when you clicked on them. That's one thing. You've got all these facts and, and all this these stats available, but not the ones you need. Before I build it, I want to know that it only makes a thousand watts. There's a tremendous amount of materials that's required to make this thing. And to have made that and realize that it's making, you know, a little more than half of what one of these make, that would have just killed me. <laughs> so I can't make there's no point in going for that you know something as much material plasteel and everything else that that one took to build plus all of the research it was like 16,000 research to get there you'd think that would make 10,000 watts or 20,000 watts but wow 1,000 watts for that it's really just for show it is hopefully the final version of the game does something a little bit different but so we can't do that what we could do, though, is Klaus has moved out. We have a room that's not being used. Any others? No, these are all still being used. We need to get into at least this bank right here real soon. We've got them half done. Just need to get there and finish them. We've got all the smoothing done here. Looks like it. A little dirt over there. Just need to get the hallway smoothed out. But, yeah, we need to smooth these top four and get four more people moved in. 
and maybe one of these double rooms cleaned up and ready to go to but we don't really need this room and we really don't need the wedding chapel anymore there's a kind of in between episodes glance through the stats and Thomas Love and Handy are married so Rabbit is 62 with 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 Handy and Alicia 23 33 that's about the closest he's going to get um Chantigo with Klaus with Handy and with David so Mississippi 22 27 um Klaus Sangria Kathra really nobody and you know mutual well Rabbit 41 and 19 I guess that'd be the closest and they were actually paired off in the last series, the Rimworld uh, Alpha 13 series. Natalia, nobody. Michael, uh, closest would be... In other words, we don't really have any certain pairs going here, except for David and Grandma are the closest, I think. Right there, 48 and 24. Kind of the, the close... Although, Grandma and Shanti... No, that's David. Okay, David's buddy with Shantigo. Um, Grandma is... Yeah, I don't see another wedding in our future for a while. So we could take this out. And we still have one room available over here for purple. Should... Well, David failed to recruit him again. Darn. Gotta get purple in here soon. Um, how about we disassemble this room, grab this guy, pop him in right there there's another 3,000 watts and then another 1700 watts right here for another solar panel so I think that is a good chunk of today's plan um, before I get it, it going because I've got another big plan too I want to grab Eric and go out and thump thump some turkeys because we are just flat out of meat so we're on simple meals and we're out of kibble again so we've got to get more meat. Oh, meat is the gold of this game. You never have enough of it. So we've got superior, poor. I wish I could toggle a switch or something to move through here. Uh, so we're keeping good and above. So normal, normal, good. So superior, good. Over here, normal, normal, poor, 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 normal, and superior. So you are a keeper, you are a keeper, and you are a keeper. So we're going to cancel, cancel, cancel. You are a reinstall at. I think it's the easiest way to deal with this. Is there anywhere that specifically needs it that I could just use them right now? Um, these four are built. This is going away. This is all going away. Well, tell you what, for now we'll, we'll, sort, we'll sort through them later. Uninstall is P. There, almost, there we go. You're done, you double click and P. Not good. Cancel. Uh, C, there we go. Let's zoom in, I am zooming as far as I can go. I can go right there. All right, so we have various, and so I could have done that with these. Hmm, um, uninstall. And that did not grab, oh, it did grab this one. So you, one more time, cancel. So we're good now, no more uninstalls on these guys. Okay, so tear this room down, which means no roof. Let's remove the roof from, from here down. One, two, three, four, five. That one can officially stay. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do that, and then remove the roof from there to there, and remove it from there. Okay. Then with that, we can deconstruct that whole. Those are lights. Oh, so the Ford isn't deconstruct. I've got to do that separately. That's right. That goes away. That goes away. And floor. Leave the floor for now. It'll make sure nothing grows in that space. It'll look funny, though. It will look funny. Now, let's tear the floor up. Okay, so remove floor. Yeah, concrete looks right in here. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll leave this hallway intact. And a back door. We'll have to eliminate this, though. So let's... We could just turn it off for now. Let's designate you as closed. Okay. 
So with that, I need to assign that work and then so all the rest of this can stay. I don't have to I was gonna tear this one down, put another one of these right in there, and yeah, but I think we're good now. What's the pathway looking like? Conduit. We're looking good. We're redundant through here. Grabbing the batteries, going to the base, eventually going to the base in two different directions. Which will be fine for now until we get into sorting out all the power in this mess and then branching off properly. It, it may never happen, but it's, it's, it's fun to talk about. <laughs> anyway, um, am I ready to get this thing rolling? What are we, 15 or so minutes into this? And that by way of introduction. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's assign. What are you doing? Building a marble tile. Let's needs your fine. Let's find you. Thomas Love, you're over here working on Klaus's room. I you're still on your go frenzy or something. Oh, that's right. This popped in through the night. So we've got to get Klaus down here and get a combat supplier trade going on before we lose that opportunity. Um Let's see, did I mention last time we did this and we got the doors in, right? I think so. So yeah, that's not new to you. So when I do the work in between episodes, sometimes I have to scratch my head and try to remember what was in last episode and what was in the interim in between. Like, did I tell you about our chick number one? I'm pretty sure I did, but in case I didn't, we have a chick now. Little yellow dot here somewhere. There? No, that's an udder. <laughs> There's got to be a chick here somewhere. No, that's a rooster. Where are you at? Animals. Hen. Chick number one is still alive and it's riding on a on a wild boar. Okay. Anyway, dogs have been eating the eggs. So I eliminated the dogs from that space. The pigs now can deliver the eggs and hopefully the pigs won't eat them. So that might help to get our chicken, our herd of chickens in. Mm-hmm. Um... So, with that, Tomislav, you are doing that and you don't need a meal. <sighs> Handy? Flicking a switch. What switch did I set to flick? You are... Oh, I just did that one. Okay. Then you're going to flick a switch and you're going to tear this roof apart. Most likely. So, Tomislav, you're on construction mode to take advantage of his work frenzy. Let's tell him specifically to tear this wall down. Andy should be able to get rid of the roof faster than he can get rid of the wall. I'm making that guess. But let's skip that middle one just in case. We're going to do that. And I may even just wait until a little while later to do that one. And then this one actually gets uninstalled. So cancel you and... Where's the un? There's the uninstalled. Oh, it was on uninstall. Instead of deconstruct. Okay. And who could do that? That, that sounds like an Eric. No, that sounds like a David. David is building a power conduit. So he's down here to tackle that one conduit right there. David, you can come over here and start uninstalling all this stuff. So remove roof, remove floor, uninstall wooden plant. Pot. That makes a little more sense. That one. That one. And then the light. And by the time you get to that, Handy should already be tearing the roof apart. And then we'll go through and try not to hit cleaning. Right there. Boy, right click, left click, right click. Yeah, my brain is hurting right now trying to get the right finger presses. That one. Missed it. That one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so you're going to take care of that. There's three of you tearing this room down. Once that's done, we'll lay out the next one. Otherwise, who else needs orders to do something? Rabbit, you are... I asked Rabbit to head up here, and he thought he was taking a rest. He didn't really need it. So he's going to put in this pillar so we can start tearing out the wood. And actually, we'll start setting in the marble and then tearing out the wood and then rebuilding it with marble on the inside. And once this is all rebuilt, we'll start this half and, yeah... In fact, we got to tap into this soon so we can use this heat. But he's going to get that built. He may bring marble for other things. Does it say? No, he's just bringing five. Nothing more than he absolutely needs to do. Okay. So he's going to do that. Then he'll probably get back to harvesting. So Shantigo is harvesting because there's nothing to uh, to cook right now. There's only one cook stove functioning. 
and although if they're going to bring the stuff over, he could kind of go ahead and make some simple meals, and the pigs could deliver them. We could give that a try. Let's, let's set that up, just experiment with it. Turn you back on, set this space to a important priority, and let's set a bill for simple meals and we're only asking for 20 right now so it doesn't really make sense to do this but details let's see yeah details you can drop on floor and you can do until you have and now eh, we'll make it 30 in over on this side you can continue working a little bit further yeah something like that um let's take your radius down though if there's nothing over here to cook then where is it there it is so if the pigs haven't brought over more then you're not going to run back and forth and do all that work and we'll ignore this part well no we won't ignore this part so we'll take you down to sure or something like that okay so that's good that is not good we're going to take you up to grab there you are take you up to a six and weigh all the ones that our reluctant cooks are over here giving us food poisoning. All right, let that one go. Got to Shantico. Klaus, you are consuming a fine meal. What do I desperately need you to be doing? I need you to be finishing off your bedroom. So you're going to then bring on this one, and then you're going to bring over some of this. You're going to bring over that one, and you're going to bring over this one. And ultimately, in the end, you're just going to bring over that one, and you're going to ignore all the rest. But that's just how the game's been working lately. Sangria is doing all kinds of training monk and milking things and you name it, shearing things. And so she's she's busy. Kathra is harvesting. Michael is making steel because Natalia is down there cutting blocks. I passed Natalia? I did. Cutting blocks down here. And Kaya is over here making shirts and things and miss peep is carving out the rest of our new storage area which i i did set but i didn't set for what i want did i let's do that real quick create stockpile boom oh i like that feature except i need to tell it to do this stuff you are now that okay so that takes care of that same priority so they won't grab everything out of here and haul it all over here so that's fine. Um, Miss V, Alicia is cleaning. I've got her cleaning the jail and kind of this area. Then soon we're going to put her back. Can we do that now? Actually, we're in pretty good shape. We are. Just a little bit here and there. Um, yeah. Let's get her back to what she wants to do. Well, let's... That's what is that though, Alicia? Alicia, is that who I'm working with? Yeah. Where's Cook? I thought you had a passion for Cook. You don't. Okay, so that's not going to work. So it's Grow and Mine, and Grow is not that critical right now. So I guess it's Mine. Okay, I do need more Cooks though, because what I want to do with Eric involves others randomly stopping and going picking up carcasses as we go and thump on things. And so we don't have to try to haul them all back down. So who can be backup cooks? Um, Klaus does not get passion over it. Miss P does. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can run butchering. Um, Eric is going to be up there busy. Kathra can. And Tomislav. I'll do you anyway. And then Sangria, no. Am I in the right category? Yeah. So we're out of passion all the way down to handy. Who's going to be busy? And, oh, there is Kaya, but I don't want to bug her. No, I'll go ahead and do that, too. I really need people hauling him in. In fact, for that matter, Handy's the fastest hauler. be foolish not to go ahead and do that. Okay, so if as soon as we drop something, one of them will hopefully get the order to grab a butcher's table. In fact, for that matter, let's turn these back on. And just turn on the butcher part. Um, suspend. Right there, suspend. And butcher butcher then over here can be butcher and uh, kibble and then over here same thing and in fact for that matter let's swap these two out kibble first kibble first because we are really low otherwise the third and fourth one will be butchering only and that'll make sure we get lots of meat going on okay so with that um sea stars was down here helping miss b is probably Hauling a granite chunk. 
Oh, it was in your way. No, you're just going to move it over so you can continue. I see. You went and got a meal or something. I don't know what you did, but your needs... Yeah, you've been up for a while. And then we have Kaya, who is over here. Now, do I have anybody prioritized besides the constructors I just set? Right over there, Tomislav and Rabbit and Klaus. And that is it. So I think we're good to go. Everybody's kind of got orders or they're doing what they need to be doing. Eric, what were you up to, by the way? You were relaxing socially. Needs? You do need some joy. Do you get joy from thumping on things? Hunting? Um, let's go this route. Eric, right there. Hunt is right there. You don't. That's a shame. Do you get joy from melee? So back to here. You do get joy from melee. So maybe we, the more we thump, the happier you get. Let's try that. Or do I let you just leave you alone for a little while? Let's run things for a bit. Let's make sure the roof comes down. Then we'll grab Eric and we'll go find turkeys and things. And uh, don't know what else to do besides turkeys. I don't want to do any of the little stuff. The, you know, the little... Uh, target practice uh, squirrels and whatnot because where's handy at there she is because it's not worth the trip to walk all the way out to the corner of the map and come back with a squirrel you know unless they're actually hunting you really didn't I thought for sure you would start you're consuming a fine meal ah didn't factor that one in yeah that would have been bad because Thomas loves pretty quick so when he's done yeah he would have just gotten smashed all right, can you please start cloud watching? <laughs> Did that just cancel all my orders? What do you want to bet David is not going to be doing any more dis or, uh, uninstalling in here? Tomislav, you don't need a cloud watch. You really don't. Needs? You really do, although you maxed out over here, and it's going to bug you all day long. You're always going to cancel anything you want to do. i got to just let you go. David, you are still trying to get to your first job, which you're going to do, and then you're going to say, Oh, I need to play chess, aren't you? Thunk. Ooh. Ooh. There's a dependable worker. Yep, yep. He's, he knows what he's doing. Well, in that case, let's get these things down. We're still waiting for Handy. In fact, Handy, are you right there using a telescope? Needs... Your joy is really tanked too, David. Needs? Yours is a bit low, but not that bad. Once you do all of that, let's have you play horseshoes with Sangria. Yeah. Hmm. Klaus, what you up to? You were you still are holding uh hauling marble. Chunks, you're actually gonna get it all done. No, you brought well you brought thirty. Right? Bring in 30, and then you're queued to bring three more. Oh, you're bringing 30 granite blocks. What are you going to do besides those? That only needs five. I'm curious to see what's what's the plan here. You're going to do that, then you're going to take the rest where? The door. That's your plan. And now you're heading for a big block. Let's do that order already constructing. And these? I wonder if you'll bring enough. I would need... Shaman Merchant from Accord Minio. And that reminds me, Combat Supplier. we got to get that done now. Um, so these two things have to be dealt with. Klaus, I'm wondering if you would bring uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50 blocks. They're 5 each, right? They're 4 each, 40 blocks. So let's let you get over to that and pick that up. Then we're going to send you right back over here. Because I don't know how much time has gone by and if we're going to lose that supplier. But can you bring me 40 of them? If not, I'll cancel you. You brought 4 marble. No, you brought... <coughs> that one shocked me. 72. Okay, great. When you're done with that, let's do this. And then, in fact, while that's happening, we can read this. A caravan is approaching. Oh, good. They are shaman merchant. They are a shaman merchant. What is a shaman merchant? I don't think I've come across that phrase before. I'm thinking that that meant that, you know, the merchant is a shaman, but is that a specific kind of a line of merchandise? Jump to location. You're rolling in over here, 
And your muffalos have what sort of things on them? Neutramine, smoke leaf, shaman, ah, psychic insanity lance. We got so many of those now. So shaman means you're bringing joints with you. I see. Klaus, you are going to load the whole room up. Oh, I'm so glad to see that. That means you're going to get this one too. Oh, the, the new reception area is not going to get done. Never mind. But you're going to get these done. Okay. Now, with that, Klaus, let's get you to do that. Okay, that's fine. And by then, we'll see if everybody's off their brakes. Give everybody commands again. And then get off and run everything with Eric while there's still some day left. It's noon already. So, Eric, you're next as far as coming off of pause. But, Klaus, let's sell off all the old weapons we don't want. And buy what? Might, buy, might be nice to get another, like a revolver or auto pistol, those sort of things. That's down here. They don't have them. Darn. Okay, so they've got medicine, fairly, well, decent price, but we have plenty. Um, shells we have, so we don't need shivs, don't need clubs. Uh, they've got knives and spears. They've got a plasteel knife. They've got spear. Oh, they do have well, one of each. All right, we'll grab each of those. Then that is their revolver. So they've got a good normal revolver. Let's do that. I think ours are kind of rough. And they've got bolt-action rifles, which are a nice fallback from the... Uh, uh, from the assault rifles. I would don't even want to know what their assault rifles cost. A chain shotgun. What do I want here? Warm up and cool down are not that bad. But the range is only 9. That's I knew there was a reason why I don't use these. Damage, 18. That's pretty good. But you got to be right there, you know, within spitting distance of them. Hmm... Okay, that's a no. Otherwise, we'll take... Where are we? That, that, and that. So we're here. Bolt action. And a pump shotgun. Do I take the bolt also? We've got some, but they're all really rough. 74, 82, a shoddy. This one's a normal. Let's do that as well. Let's kind of pull in some good quality weapons for us. Kind of up our odds a little bit. Grenades, no. In fact, I'm almost tempted to get rid of ours. They've got a distance of 12, and it's kind of hard to, you know, to get in there and, and use it and get back out without being shot in the back. So I tend not to use them. Shield belt, armor vest, smoke pop, and this group down here. Helmets, we've got plenty of. All right, so we're committed to almost a thousand silver. What can we sell them? Let's roll through this direction. These are ours. Shivs, they can have. Steel clubs, we're keeping. Steel knives, they can have. We're keeping the plasteel, plasteel, and plasteel. We've got two maces, a long sword, and another mace. Okay, we'll get rid of the shoddy. And that's the end of our plasteel. So we have three choices in plasteel to equip future melees with. So I think we'll... They're both... They're all in really good shape, though... Okay, longsword does what kind of damage? 8.72 per second. And the longsword. So these guys are here. The mace, good, 98%. So 8 point and an 8 point. Okay. The one is blunt and the other is mm, pointy damage, we'll say. Whatever the that word was. And I think don't the different uh, clothes um, shield you from different types of damage. So we have still two different choices of blunt or the other. Blunt or sharp, we'll put it that way. So we'll keep the three. Auto pistol shoddy 50%. Only worth three bucks. Toss you. Revolver shoddy. 50% toss. Revolver, 60%. Poor. Auto pistol, 84, 90. We'll keep those. So that's basically a swap out for what we're buying. Okay, it's going to cost us a lot to do it, but I think at this point it's worth getting some better weapons. We can make our own eventually, and we can make them now, but we're obviously too busy to ever get to it. 
That's what I'm thinking. Um, keeping those, let's scroll a little bit. All right, down this run right here. Bolt action, shoddy 82. We just bought two good bolt action, right? Right in here, we bought one. We bought one. So we could get rid of one. Yeah, there's a poor 74. Good 80. Poor 74 and a shoddy 82. We have two of these. Let's get rid of the one of that. Okay. Um, moving through. Auto pistol revolver. Machine pistol. I don't see us ever using that. Let's clear a shelf. Heavy SMG. Toss that one. Um, this one's ours. We're keeping it. LMG. Toss. <clears throat> Assault rifle. We're keeping. Alright, over here. Sniper rifle. We've got three normals. Two goods. And one superior. Let's get rid of... That gives us six snipers. Would we ever use six snipers? Let's get rid of one of those at least. Alright, one of those are, are gone. So leaves us two, two, and one. And one of us, I think Rabbit's already actually got a superior on him now. So let's get rid of another one of those. Yeah, I don't want to deplete us in case some unusual situation shows up. We've got three miniguns. And I want to see what happens if we put miniguns on our people and, f and stand in front of a, uh, um, a migratory herd that comes through. One of those mi migration events. Y you, you'll miss the one that you're shooting at guaranteed. But you hit everything else behind it. It might be worth a try. At the very least... You can uh, you can you know send them into a, a, a revengeful uh, state of, of uh, chaos and send the whole herd down into the gauntlet for us or something like that. We'll keep these. Um, we're we're never ever going to sell this orbital power beam targeter for what we went through to get it, even though it's it's almost worthless. I still can't believe it's only two hundred um, grenades. We'll keep those for now. Armor vest, awful eighty four. Um, we'll keep that for now. That's not too bad. We'll, eventually we'll make more and we'll swap them out. Um, keep the snow, the shield belts because we don't have much of a choice. I don't think we can, you know, we can't make them yet. We've got uh, to research it. And we've got a, a uh, steel advanced helmet from a deceased. And that is it. Yep, so we're going to give them 632. All right, except that's done. Pause. It is 1,300 hours. Let's assign some, some duties and go off and do some hunting. So, Tomislav, you are over here helping out. So, you guys did not... You did. You got that done. All right, that's what I needed to see. So, let's tear this out. In fact, let's... Tomislav, your needs are fine. You can get this done. So, Tomislav, I'm going to have you do all of this. And right, left, right, left. Yeah. You guys can just kind of tune out for a while while I'm cleaning dirt. While I'm... Oh, boy. This is getting complicated here. <laughs> is it always the lower one? Kind of like Craft the World. When you're uh, trying to remove dirt and you get it... And you, you've got something... You're trying to replace something that's in the dirt. And you've got to figure out if it is in the front or the back. And you got to stop and scratch your head and think about it every time at least i do so removing look for the magic word removing right there you're going to get all these built prioritize hauling by divot okay so that handy can come over here and build us a wind turbine while we're gone oh this is hurting <laughs> there's a throbbing in my head starting up <laughs> Oh, the stress of it all. All right. And then, after that, get rid of that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That control is so stinking close to the shift. Okay. Okay. We're good. No, we're not hauling. We're, we're starting over again. We're canceling. <laughs> You know, the tunnel effect which right before you pass out where everything starts to shrink in and there's just a white light in the middle yeah 
I actually had that once. College. First aid class. He was describing compound fractures and bones coming through the skin and and how to set bones and, and build a splint. And I was visualizing that big time and the room started to kind of zoom away from me and my vision started to shrink down and he looked at me and says you look like you need some fresh air I said uh huh he said I'm not feeling too good he said go outside <laughs> okay it's done don't touch it again Handy why don't you it won't let me because that's there it won't let me um let's verify that there rotate nope it won't let me you need to be right there Okay, so, um, is there anybody else who's actually right here? David is sleeping for the day. David, I'm going to bug you and have you come over and do this real quick. And then that's you too, Rabbit. You're going to be fine. Sanger's going to be fine. Klaus will come up with something specific for you to do. Thank you. Go back to bed. Um, this one, there, and turn. Ah, there it is. Do I want to push it any further? Is there any reason? I really wanted it up here. I wanted it in line with these guys but I can't without taking more of the building out. So right there clears the building. Yeah, you're gonna go right there. And then, I keep that in mind, a solar panel. You, build copy, are gonna go right in here somewhere. If I kick it off to a side, I can walk around that for a while. But if I do it right here, hmm. Let's keep it real close. I think that'd be better future-proofing. We may get something else tucked up against it right here or something right... I don't know, something. All right, so those two need to be done. And Handy, you can work on... Where are you at right now? You're completing this one and about to build... No, you won't be building somebody in. Let's let you guys actually finish. In fact, for that matter, Handy, you can take over this one. So we're going to put... Already constructing? What are you swapping... Are you crossing the beams over here? You are. Then... Eric can finish that one. Okay, so Handy, when you're done with that, you're going to work on um, this one right there. Klaus, you are going to... You're really trying to build your bedroom, aren't you? I'm going to leave you alone. So, Handy, you are also going to... I lost you. Right there. You're going to then... Because you have enough food? You do. Then you're going to work on this one. Not cleaning dirt. Am I, am I doing something weird here? Why can I not click on this? It, it doesn't understand it's here yet? Oh, well. We'll have to come back for that one. So, Klaus, do you finish working on your bedroom? Sangria, Kathra, is talking with Purple. Great. Um, Michael is cooking a simple meal. He's going to take over over here. Okay, that works, because Shantigo is where? Working on this one because Grandma went to bed. Ah, Michael's the next cook in line in, in skill. So that works great. We'll crank out the simple meals. The dogs will haul them over. Should get them done early enough that the dogs are still up and running at that point. Um, working through here, Alicia, you are digging at granite. You're finishing off this room. Great. And I did leave one space right there as a support column for when we get further in it's aligned with this one so eventually we'll swap these out or something um kaya you're still busy working away over here are you liking it you're liking it of course the 20 attended wedding doesn't help doesn't hurt and tons of joy because you're doing what you like okay so with that eric you finished good job let's draft you food's good you have a meal on you you kind of do. Not the meal I wanted you to have on you, but draft. Let's go play Thump Thump. Anything down in here? We've got emus. That's not good. We've got ibex. That doesn't work. Um, moving across this. Over in here. I'm looking for turkeys. No. I know I've got them all around the perimeter. Just hoping there'd be something. There's an alpha beaver. Come over and thump on this thing. All right, there's. I kind of forgot about the alpha beavers. Any more? Let's zoom out. Oh, we got this troop coming in. Okay, that alpha beaver is right. Oh, he's right there. Let's double click. Two alpha beavers. The other one is new. Right there. 
Okay, so we're going to get up to this corner before we're done. And if I leave that one in place, double click. Just the ones. We're down to two of them. I have one, you know, here and there, sent someone out to hunt one in between episodes. So, Eric, you are officially heading up to there. Okay, so we got that crowd coming in. Do we want to meet that crowd early? Lately, they've been all parking over here. Let's let's do this. Is there any reason? Now, they need to be in a stockpile to sell them. So let's just kind of, let's do something here. Um, zone, stockpile, and we'll do something like, I guess I can't do that because of the construction. Oh. Okay, well, let's do that. And let's set you to uh, low. So at least some of them will be in the stockpile. Although, unfortunately, you're superior and you're superior. There's only two to get rid of. I need the dogs to get rid of the other chairs. Hmm. I'll tell you what, for the purpose of this, let's cancel that and let's expand the stockpile and let's sell off the chairs that are not keep keepers. Okay, so we'll do that. And again, that is low, so it will count. Okay, Klaus, let's have you come out and meet these guys and get that done while we're doing our hunting. So somewhere in here, right there. So we've got trade with Hakuja, shaman merchant, a Cordomino. Boom. Next, back to Eric. Now, hopefully, <coughs> hopefully we don't get a raid. And hopefully by saying that, we don't get a raid. Quite often when the, uh, the, the caravans come in, there seems to be trouble that they bring with them. All right, so are you going to put up a fight? That's a plasteel club there. It's got some significant damage to it. So far, so good. Has left comms range. Well, we got that done just in time. And he was about to to take Eric down, and then he got his brain discombobulated. Combat. Eric jabbed the Alpha Beater in the spine, leaving the area visibly deformed. And he expired. Okay, so Eric, someone is going to get the order to go butcher that now. That's the plan. So we're heading north. And we're heading for this turkey. So come over here and play with that one. And maybe they'll both revenge. And we'll get turkeys pecking at Eric from both sides while he's madly swinging that club in circles trying to defend himself. Um, item stash, zero hours. Oh, remember that I said 24 hours at the end? So that was a countdown. We have one day to accept it. That's what's going on there. Um, how much more can I squeeze into this episode? It's already been 48 minutes on my timer? No way! We're just getting going. Well, I didn't record yesterday, so let's run a longer episode today. Because I want to play with this for a moment, just for those of you who have never done this before. So, basically, we had the opportunity to get an infinite chem reactor, which I kind of nicknamed a boomalo, because it just gives you a, a constant... Um, slowly generates chem fuel by a complex series of chemical reactions using atoms extracted from the air. So it's constantly leaking some chem fuel and generating it, and that would be kind of nice to have. So we had one day to accept it. It will not show us where it is until we accept it. So let's go ahead and accept. We don't have to do it. We can just ignore it, and it'll eventually expire. Every like 23 days or something, then it would go away. And it's I'm guessing it's pretty guaranteed that there is going to be some kind of a small army waiting for us, which means we're going to walk a long way. Really? Whoa. That's a long way. Is that it? Yeah, because we got one that... A joy wire over there. What's you? You are the AI's Persona Core from a long time ago. Wow. So to go from here to here 12 days to reach over grab that road and go down the road and come all the way back up hmm. yeah no thanks we're gonna pass so let's turn you off and go back to world but that's what that's all about 
and we're going to pass on that one. But let's see what happens first. Eric go thump thump, or Klaus reaches the shaman over there. Yeah, well, we'll let this run long. Oh, oh, okay, well, here we are. Whoa. Um, Michael's grand sculpture is worth 354, but we're not going to... Boy, we're not going to do much. I was going to scroll to see the rest of it, but that is it. They won't buy much from us either. Huh. So, we've still got 50, 62... Oh, that's what we, we came back with. 62 pemmican. Okay. Um, well, we can use that as emergency food, so we'll hang on to it. Nutramine? We seem to have 107. I'm thinking all of it is accounted for there. They're selling it at this. We're spending a lot of silver... We had 49 or something, and we spent six of it. Yet we're back to 49. There must be some silver that's not in an orbital trade beacon stockpile. That's what's going on. Ah, uh, we're going to have to fix that. Oh, that's right. There's silver down in the, um, in the art room. In case we want to make something out of silver. That's what it is. Must be 500 or so down there. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> So eventually there will be an orbital trade beacon in that room anyway. So we can sell off sculptures that are in that room. To orbitals. Okay. So that's fine. That makes sense. Nutramine, let's go ahead and get us back to the 150 mark. So they've got 72 to spend. Let's go ahead and grab 43. And that's 300 going their way. Um, other things that they have that we may want. We don't need plasteel. We have so many mechs to tear down. We have plenty of plasteel now. Um, at least plenty enough for what we need at the time. We own two of these insanity lances. They have one to sell us for 1,200. That's high. We got ours for three or 400 the last time. Or 500. It was 500 and something. That's right. So they have a shock lance too, but again, prices are too high. And they've got gold for sale. Nah, we're not going to go that route. So we could sell them something. We could sell them plasteel. We could sell them nothing. There's nothing here to sell. So we're just going to uh, to give them 300 silver, and they're going to give us Nutramine. Okay, so let's accept. We're good? I think we're good. Accept and pause. And go to Klaus, who's going to immediately... Haul in the Nutramine. Haul. Then. So that's done and we didn't get to use this anyway. Where am I? Ah, uh, here. So let's reset this real quick. So you can go away and you build copy. And that still has not been done. Let's turn you so you match the other ones. You're going to go there. Andy, what you doing? Oh, you got the command to butcher. Okay, we can't do that. we got to get the power going. Okay, so Handy, you are now back off of... But where are you at? Are you actually hauling in? You're actually going to make the trip. Okay, well, you're off of butchering duty, Handy. Right there, we'll take that down to a two with all of your other twos. And then we're going to assign you afterward. So we'll go ahead and let you, know, let you do the hauling. Afterward, Handy is going to do that. Klaus... You probably will not go back down to work on your marble floor. So after you do that, need, let's come over and get this built. Reserved by handy. You're going to do both. Okay, we'll do that. And that's it. That is it. Back to Eric. There we go. Now, oh, good job there. All right, that one's done. Let's get five or six of these things. We need to do a real hunt. But we can go ahead and melee attack that one. Um, oh, there was another one over here. Grab this one first. All right, thump thump on that one. Yeah, we need to get the the rifles, the assault rifles out here. Oh, we've got turkey revenge. <laughs> Eric, combat. Yeah, let's go to turkey and combat. Eric, wielding his club professionally, painfully smashed the turkey in the neck. Eric attempted to use a club to smash the turkey, but missed. Eric poked the turkey with the club's handle, jabbing his head. While wearing a savage look, the turkey attempted to bite Eric, but missed. Boom. And Eric crushed the turkey's tail cleverly. <laughs> the turkey collapsed thanks to a cracked wound in his spine. All right, those are exciting. Go ahead and finish him off, please. 
And finish him off, please. There you go. All right, next. Up over here. That part is kind of fun. I don't know if, how many of you have ever played Dwarf Fortress, but they've got a log that follows combat that's even more exciting than that at times. And it gets, it gets quite fun. I haven't played that in years. I used to watch Quill 18 play it, and, and that got me playing it. It was a lot of fun, but it, there's a very steep learning curve in that game. You've got to uh, be able to just dedicate yourself to nothing but that game for a while to, to get used to it. And running a YouTube channel kind of takes away that ability for me. I've got to, I can't concentrate on just one thing and run a business and do other, yeah, unless I record it. And that one I don't think would record well. I just don't think so. I think the following would really drop off with that game. Um, Turkey right there. Let's get Eric to do a few more needs. You're fine. Where am I? Not quite an hour yet. So come on over in this area. Turkey, turkey, turkey. One over there. Anything down low? We're good over here. Ostrich. All right, get walking over to this one. Um, melee. No longer inspired. Okay. That one and that one over there. And while you're on your way... Let's pop over to Handy, who's coming back with a Alpha Beaver. Ah, okay. And then Tomislav, you are butchering good. And Klaus, you are playing chess. Okay. Sangria, you're probably training something. Taming a wild boar. Eric, there you are. And it's already kind of going into sunset. The colors are changing. Eric, head down to... No. Female turkeys are kind of hard to see sometimes. So head over to this one. No, that's an emu. So we know the male over here. I'm kind of giving up on the idea of taming the male turkeys and getting a flock going. We've been trying for quite some time, and it's never been successful. And it's a long walk out to get to them to do it. Let's train... Uh, puppies for a while. Just concentrate on those. Yeah, chase him down. Thump. There you go. And clear you. Head over to this one. Can't just click on it like you can ranged. Ah, oh, we got a female down over here. That might be the end of this hunting trip. I don't know. Alright, one more. Down. And right there. So I gotta wait for his his cooldown. Even though it doesn't list a cooldown anymore, there is still obviously a cooldown. You zoom in here at that circle right there. And you're done. There, that one, Eric. Down, thump on this one. Yeah, melee weapons used to list a cooldown and warm up just like the ranged. So you can see it in progress. You know, right there, there's the circle disappearing after each one. Now it just lists how much damage happens per second on average. So it's still a, a way to compare them, but it's hard to compare them to a ranged. You know, do we, especially if, if someone is skilled in both. Do we go ranged or do we go melee? Um, are we good? We do have one over here. Let's attack that one. Needs... That, well, mm, yeah, we've got the wedding in there. So that'll be the last one, and you'll take it home. How does that sound? So you're running over to do that. Um, Handy, did you ever get to it? You are building a marble tile floor. No, 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 no. Come on over here, and let's get to work. Okay, let's make this happen. And your needs, you're getting kind of low. We'll have to check in on you before the episode's over. Eric, you're up here, and you're heading over to there so coming down we got some ibex over here so either next episode or just me alone in between episodes we're going to come out first thing in the morning and there's a turkey over there and do some hunting and it's, you know take out some uh some bigger games so we can get some more meat going on and get our meals built up again get some meats in we've got one fine meal already made and thump. Let's see if we get anything real exciting going on here. Thump and one more. Down. Okay. So 
let's actually take this one out too. You can take this one home with you. So that was right down in here. Thump on this one, you can go home this direction. And that is the end of the turkeys that I've seen. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Handy, where you at? You're, you're done. <laughs> okay, it is 2100. Um, let's do something here. Grandma, you're cooking. Rabbit, why don't you come over here and... Hmm, haul this one. Boy, I saw that pig running down there with potatoes, and I thought it was a, a raid message dropping in on me. I thought, no. But let's quickly haul that one to there. There was a little stall there. And let's haul this one. Eric is probably thumping on something right now. Klaus has gotten food poisoning from berries because we have so few meals to grab. And haul that one. Okay. Handy. Right there. Handy. Consuming a fine meal. When you're done, you're going to get this one going. Rabbit, on the other hand, while you're down here, you're going to... Mm, you're going to flick a switch so we have power through the night. Uh, that one. So, Rabbit, you're going to flick switch. Then you're going to reload this one, this one. See if you can do all of them without losing it to your command to go to sleep soon. All right, Eric, you are... Over here to go and thump thump. Oh, that turkey said, uh-uh. Not going to happen. Turkey. And thumped on Eric pretty good there. So, combat. Eric attempted to use his club handle to poke the turkey, but hesitated at the last, at the last second. Eric missed the turkey with a strike from his left fist. The turkey gnawed. The turkey gnawed. That's spelled right? I guess, well, I guess it is. Eric, injuring his left shoulder while laughing. <laughs> Eric hit the turkey with a poke with the club's handle, poking her right kidney. Good shot. And body without emotion. Boom. The turkey missed while trying to scratch Eric with her claw. Eric thrashed toward the turkey but hit on the air. The turkey flailed while trying to hit, trying to tear Eric. Eric wielding his club with skill viciously poked the turkey in the left leg. Poke! Turkey floundered while trying to nip Eric. And Eric smashed the turkey with a club, lacerating her body while smirking. The turkey chomped Eric, wounding his torso while wearing a blank look. <laughs> I'm just imagining a turkey wearing a blank look. Eric attempted to use the club's handle to poke the turkey, but stumbled at the last second. And the turkey bit Eric, wounding his torso while laughing. I won't do that again to you. All right. Oh, what a mess. Eric, undo. Go and haul that turkey. And then a bruise caused the turkey to die. Health, Eric, bite to the torso and a bite to the left shoulder. So Eric, you are then going to grab a meal and then you're going to go to a hospital bed. Meals are over here. Got a real one? Got a real one. You're going to consume that meal and then you're going to go live in this bed. Okay. And with that, well, Andy, let's pop this in and check our our, uh, our ability to... Wow, we've got full wind right now. And we are all connected to the... Uh, oh, you can go ahead and do that. Connected to the grid, right? Yeah, we're in the grid. That's going to connect to that one. Uh, Sangria and Mohawk have formed a bond. Mohawk. Oh, okay. Mohawk. What's a Mohawk? Mohawk. So Sangria's got a puppy. Because I didn't get here soon enough to say no. So I guess Mohawk is going to be going around with Sangria for the rest of the game. Okay, well, we'll just make that work. None over there. Boom, boom. Actually, we can turn that off, though. Yeah, we can turn that off. Right there. Sangria. None. Zooming up. Zooming down. I see another one. Right there. Oh, Bond. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that one going. Zoom away. And boy, she's been busy. None, none, none. And anything newborn 
that's important to get the initial training going. No, I don't think so, unless I'm missing something. Okay, a lot of bursts about to happen still. And with that, can we call it done? Handy, finished. Okay, with that, well, we've already flicked that switch. Was there enough power? Well, we don't know, because Eric's still got to fill all these in and get them going. Curious to see. Let's find out. Um, you are going to turn off. Kaya was going to bed after she turns that switch off. Rabbit, you're going to... to bed. No, you're going to grab some wood. Okay, good. Even though that wood is over there. Yeah, so we're going to reprogram you for this next one. Because you're going to want to go all the way back over there because you were over here when I set the orders. Right? You're skipping all the rest of them. Well, when you're done then, you're going to do that one and you're going to do that one. And that one. Or something like that. That one. Okay, you're running up there. And you get this one. We'll call that a day. Then I want to check that battery and see if. Looks like we are charging up. With this boost right here. Of course, we're at full charge with the wind. That's great. But let's go ahead and get this one done. Then I want to check on this over here. 76. And put that in there. Can I leave these disconnected for the night? With that going, are we going to hit 77? Uh... Well, we're holding even. Let's put it that way. Still holding 77. We're not connected. No wonder. Cook on you. 103, 104. Okay. So I kind of did the wrong one. I meant to do this one. That's what it was. You need to flick and you need to flick. And Cathra, do me a favor. Do that one and then do that one. I want to save that and I want to charge these through the night. It's kind of what I'm trying to do. 108, 109. While these, well, this is off. That's, we're going to have positive power, hopefully filling these up all night long. So, with that, what do we got now? We got no wedding chapel. We still have a spare bedroom. We got more power, which means next episode, if we don't get a raid, we can get this guy built. In fact, David, you're up for the night. You're up for the night. When you're done with that, what's left over here? You're close to being done here, though. Let's assign you. Needs. Let's do it the way I would do it if I was doing this in between episodes. I would sit here. I would tell you to do all of these wonderful things so that to make sure they got done. And then I would bring you over here. And there was a weird little pause there. And I would... What were we talking about over here? I've lost my train of thought. What did I want you to do? I don't know. That's done, that's done. There was another project to do. Alright, I'll find it. When I'm editing, I'll figure out what I was just talking about. I must be tired. So, yeah. There's something that needed to be done through the night. No, that's what it was. Instead of Handy doing this when she got up tomorrow morning, he can do this through the night. So that means we can turn all of these on and next episode, if there's no raid, start moving all the food over. Finally, the feeling of progress. And it's winter time, so we can shut that down and send all this heat into the base. Ooh. Okay. We have a plan for next time. And until then, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.